We are going live to Facebook with a very special Monday Midday Meditation. My name is Tim from wherever I am. On behalf of Unity in the Olympics, I welcome you to this beautiful June 5th, 2023. 2020, 2023? 20, 20, 23. 2023. Wow, like a star date. It is a star date. And I don't know if y'all knew, but over the weekend, we had a beautiful full moon. I, I missed it. I, I missed saw it one of the times I was out with the dogs. Now, it was 90 some odd degrees before the sunset and the moon came out. Mm. And it put fog around it. So when I tried to get pictures when I got off work the other day, didn't quite work. Mm. But, you know, I could feel the energy. I could feel the light come through the windows. I could see it come through the the mist or the fog, whatever you call it, whatever it rises off the pond, but it was still energetic. But I, as I, I like when the the moon um is in the clouds and you can still see it. Yeah, and, I like that too. Or between the trees and you yeah. can see it between the tree branches. It's beautiful. And then this morning, actually about 20 minutes ago when I was eating. I call it brunch since it's what I eat on Mondays. There was a news report that the next venture by NASA is to be going to one of the moons of Jupiter. Oh. And they took a beautiful poem upon the new adventure. Now, I didn't quite capture it, so I'm going to have to go to that news source and try to, to find it. But I was listening. And I was listening with that higher heart because it just reflected so much of the beautiful blessing that James Dillett Freeman did on the space shuttles, yes. on Apollo, actually. Right. No, but no, no. every every trip carries a prayer. I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know that. And I didn't, I never heard another one other than James Dillett Freeman. Ah, well, maybe t this afternoon we'll all have a chance to listen. And today's daily word is listen. And it says, what, Sandra? Oh, no, who's doing the daily word? Donna. Reverend Donna's leading the daily word. So what's it say about listening in the daily word? Ah, I agree with Sandra. I think this is, you know, this is just, you know, written for my heart. <laughs> yep. Written for my heart. And, uh, it says to open your mind and open your heart and listen from that place. Listen. They call it deep listening. So the affirmation today is I listen with my open heart, open mind and heart. You want to try to say that with me? <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I listen. With my, with my mind, open mind, mind, mind and, heart. and heart. I can just feel, feel that, <laughs> feel that opening. Yes. It may be easy to hear what someone is saying, but it can be more of a challenge to listen deeply to the meaning behind the words. Today, I practice deep listening. I open my mind and listen without thinking, without thinking about what to say in response. I do not judge the words of another. I wait patiently for someone to finish, letting them express themselves to me for as long as they need to. And I open my heart as well. Even if I don't agree with what's being said, I create a space for respectful expression, careful not to subject myself to opinions I find disrespectful or disturbing. Empathy and understanding are at the heart of my listening practice. I listen as I wished 
to be listened to and keep my mind and heart open. And the Bible references from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 1. Listen, children, to a father's instruction and be attentive that you may gain insight. Wisdom, seek that wisdom, open to that wisdom. Let's try to say the affirmation again. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I listen. And with, with my, my open, open mind, mind and, and heart. And heart. Yeah. Ah. And with that, we can take a couple of really good deep breaths, feeling that expansion of this open heart and mind right now, and releasing and letting go of all the tension or stress or worries we have at the moment. <sighs> Sending love throughout those places. Ah. So listening intentively to those we love. But when we need to go to a place within, inside of us, and be still, there's another kind of listening. The listening for the presence and knowing of God within each of us. Always there always listening, no judgment, no critiquing, just hearing and feeling and experiencing that love, that energy flowing through our bodies. Take another deep breath. Ah. And we can just tune out all the activities and sounds around us, including our pets. And we can find a quiet place every time we want to, wherever we are, we can just stop and pause and go to that place inside and know that we will be heard deeply. It's a kind of listening that we can feel it reverberating throughout our bodies, but there's also our soul speaks to us. That presence of God within us that says, I'm here always to give you strength, to give you courage, to give you wisdom, to give you love, whatever you need, I am here. And we can release all of our thoughts and our concerns and our worries during this time and know that we can sit with this presence and feel the peace and the calm that flows through us. And we can say, yes, yes, this is good. And we can remember that when we're sitting with someone, we can be that Christ light that love light that floods through us. We can be as one with the person we're with, hear them the same way, feel them, experience them, and love them. Fully conscious of God's presence within each of us, <sighs> giving us direction and whatever else we need to hear. So let's just sit for just a few minutes thinking of what it is in each of us right now that we're going through, experiencing and sitting there in the stillness. And let's hear, if we can at this moment or another time later, what might be coming up for us at this moment in this peace and quiet and stillness, knowing we're surrounded with God's love. What's really good about this is that we don't even have to speak the words out loud to be heard. The thoughts alone are already being picked up. Because already God knows what's in our hearts and what's in our soul and our minds. <sighs> and so as we experience that for ourselves, when we go within, we can experience that for others. We can be there for others the same way. It's a good reminder sometimes just to remember how it is when we go within and sit quietly and listen, what it feels like to be heard that way. 
And that's all we have to do to be present with someone. Just be present. Don't have to have answers or anything else. Just sit with them. It's really, really a peaceful time, a reassuring time, and a loving time. When we can do that, just pause and stop and remember that that presence that we wish for mothers is also within each of us. And all we have to do is just know that and remember that and be there, present to the one talking to us or present to the spirit within us talking to us. We grow and we evolve and we expand in mind, heart, and soul when we do this for each other and for ourselves. And we are so thankful and we are so grateful that we have this knowing of who we are, this oneness with all. And it just requires just sitting quietly, no answers, just listening. <sighs> and I pray that we all can experience this on a daily basis just by stopping and pausing. And that's my wish for everyone today. Thank you, God. Amen. <sighs> I've been practicing. Reverend Donna, you're muted. That's fine. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Did you turn you me go. on? Oh, uh, that's a double entendre in itself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Words have power. Uh, well, can you do the reverse? I need to be turned on because I've got to go to work today. You need to turn on or off. <laughs> turned on. And I don't want work off. to be a... A four-letter word. So I've been trying to come up with a better name for that place I go and spend eight hours. Oh. I want to go play? I was going to say, play is the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah. I've got to still go play for the day. You can yeah. play listening today. <laughs> oh, I, I play listening all the time. I know I you play. do. <laughs> with everybody at work. Yeah, but I think that's one of my superpowers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, just sitting and listening. All right. Well, uh, this is Tim from wherever I am. And like I said, this week I'm in Warrington, Missouri, and I'm joined by. I'm Sandra in Unity in the Olympics in Squam, Washington. And, Don. and I'm Donna Little, and I'm in Issaquah, Washington. And as on behalf of Unity in the Olympics, we say bye for now. Love you. Bye Have a peaceful now. week.